So I'm here with okay. Lasetcha. Um, he is in uh, Pretoria, South Africa, and recently participated in a um, headshot day that I offered uh, with remote photo shoots for a group of international entrepreneurs. And I just thought I would ask him a few questions. Um, so what was it you liked best about having your photos done remotely? Um, hi, Joanne. I, I think what I liked most was nobody was invading my space. You were there, I'm here, and we can do what we have to do. So I could take my pictures uh, with people in the house as long as the, the phone was facing me or the camera was facing me, all happened. So that's what I liked most about it. Yeah, I find yeah. that a lot of people say the same thing. They feel they... They're in the space they feel comfortable, so it's a lot more relaxed. Um, no, absolutely, absolutely. I think, as, especially when, um, when you are one camera shy, or you know you don't like posing and people looking at you and all that. Um, if we have to go and do a photo shoot outside, where you know public space or something like that, uh, then you know people are looking at you somebody with a camera in front of you. But even if I had to go to a park and do a photo shoot with you, people would just think I'm doing a, um, what do they call it, a selfie. You know, it's not, uh, it doesn't attract public attention that much, which is which is very good. So especially for people that are camera shy, um, this works. This works yeah, very well. A lot well. more discreet. Yeah. 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 Very. Um, yeah. And you came away with some new headshots. Um, just wondering if you can share how you plan to use the photos. Um, they are going to be on my social media pages as, as profile pictures. Um, I've already changed uh, LinkedIn. I've already changed uh, Facebook. I still need to change um, Instagram and TikTok. And um, they are they are also going to appear on my um, Zoom. Uh, what do they call them? Is it? Is it a profile picture? Mm, profile Zoom profile photo. picture. I'm, yeah, I'm going to use that there as well. And wherever I find a space for it, as a yeah. background picture for my presentations, um, my screen uh, saver uh, on my laptop. All both pictures are going to be there. Well, three of them are going to be there. Depends on which one I want to show. One where I was um, slightly uh, skewed to the right, the straight one, or one where I was with my daughter. It's just going to depend on um, which one I'm going to use and where, depending on whether it's formal or informal. I mean, the straight one I'm going to use on more formal stuff. And the one that where I'm uh, aligning to the left, you know, Facebook, Instagram, and all that, because relaxed. they are not yeah. really not really formal. Yeah, they are more relaxed. And one with my daughter, screensaver. So whoever <laughs> watches my screensaver when I'm away, it's gonna be in my daughter. <laughs> so Building they are going to be recognition everywhere. Over. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we've got we've got to we've got to. So. And I think um, it's it's more ideal to use them wherever you can. Definitely. You know, because they are professionally done. Um, why not use them? Unlike if I take one with my phone, you know, um, the quality is not that good. So I'd rather, I'd rather use your photos everywhere where I can. If possible, if they allowed uh, um, these for passport or ID photos, I would use them. Mm. I would use them, yeah, because I, I just love them. Yeah, great. And are there any yeah. tips you can offer to people who are considering having a remote photo shoot versus a um, traditional photo shoot? How they can prepare? Any tips, advice? <laughs> Yes, I think I think I would um, 
firstly ask them to choose a good background for for themselves i know sometimes you edit the background and stuff like that but um at times you want to have your photos with the background so choose a good background for yourself and then check lighting as well because sometimes uh no matter how good um joanne's camera can be um if you're not in a good lighting um you are going to compromise the quality of your photo so consider that and another tip is just be open-minded be open-minded to suggestions to joanne's suggestions because she's a professional in this so listen to her and uh, do as she says. And if you don't agree, well, I don't think she will be upset, but you can you can then voice your opinion. Uh, and then, yeah, get the best photo out of the photo shoot session because um, it's once in a lifetime kind of a shoot. Um, or, well, you can repeat them if you want to, but I think the first one would be the, the, the very authentic one. And then the following, the ones that follow and, and, end would be ones where you are more experienced, uh, you know what to do and, and all that. So the first one, especially just be sure of it because probably that's the one that you're going to use the most. So those are my tips, my tips, uh, choose a good background and check your lighting and listen to advice. Well, thank you for sharing that. And so if you'd like to thank just you, um, tell the um, anyone watching this um, a little bit about you, what you do and how they can reach out to you if they want to. <laughs> um, is there anything I don't do? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, my name is Lise Chamuko, and I'm currently employed by Radio Pulpit, uh, which is a faith-based Christian radio station based in South Africa. Um, I am the, uh, um, how do I forget my, uh, what I do? It's because I do a lot of things. I am the uh, business development agent. Um, I've got a side hustle which is a media company, uh, which is called Litmok, L-I-T-M-O-K. And anyone that's looking to get in touch with me can look for my handles on LinkedIn, on uh, Facebook, Lesecha Moko, L-E-S-E-T-J-A, and surname M-O-K-O-U. And we can, we can chat from there. Well, great. Well, thank you for coming on and sharing your um, experience and letting people know a little bit about yourself too um so oh, thank you joanne and thank you for the invitation thank you for the awesome awesome pictures that you took um and uh people didn't believe when i showed them these pictures were taken by somebody in the uk like how <laughs> like well she visited me for a few minutes and left but in a few minutes, she was back in the UK. So, but they are beautiful. I love them. Oh, great. And um, if anyone else is considering having a remote photo shoot or want to learn more, um, I will pop some links above this video. You can come along to one of my open office hours that I hold uh, twice a month. And then I also do monthly headshot days, which is an opportunity for you to have a taste of a remote shoot to see what it's all about before um, choosing to invest in a full package. Uh, thanks again, Lasecha. Thank you so much, Joanne, and may you remain blessed. Eh? Thank you.